praise the lord glory be on to our lord jesus christ i pray blessing upon you in the name of jesus as the entire world is going through a circumstance or a situation which is very scary and 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 on usual for all of us i pray the mighty protections of god will be always with you and he will keep you keep you uh, from all the evil things and bad things of the world and he always keep us under his mighty wings let his mighty protection be all, with all of us today i have brought a message to you from the bible or the book called samuel chapter 17 first samuel chapter 17 where we learn about david how he fought the battle how he win the battle won the battle so we are going to discuss you might have heard this story so many times 100 times 1000 times maybe and in convention so many preachers would have spoken about it you have you have you have seen and learned from your your uh, youtube or you have prepared this message you might have uh, read it so many times so let's look at look into it in a different perspective so we are not going to discuss how wonderfully amazingly heroic way david came and and he fought battle and 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 he got him down and he killed him uh, the giant goliath we we have already learned we, we know the story so i'm not going to narrate the story i'm going to um, try i'm trying uh, to let us understand that how it relates to our personal life through this chapter 17 for samuel so when we go to this chapter and and we know that david is as a shepherd boy and his father uh had other sons and his elder brothers are are david's elder brothers are there in 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 in, in the army of israel and and they were fighting where the, there is a man from the giant a fighter came from a palestine and is he challenging yeah. the entire israel the anyone who has that boldness the daringness uh, to stand against me and fight against me and everyone is care of him so in the situation david's father being a constant daddy and father he he wanted to check in and he sent uh, to david to check in his brother whether they're doing well there or not if everything's safe so david is going there and and he when he came across the 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 ghost the talking and he came to heard about the people what they are talking he he came to know there is a arm circumcised some circumcised person he is it is a philistine is there and he is blaming and dishonoring our almighty god and he got furious and he wanted to take the battle now how the david became god this 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 boldness let's look into it so david we all know david was a shepherd boy and he was he was taking care of all sheep and when lions and bears used to come he used to fight with them he used to run to them he used to run to them and to fight with them and he used to save and rescue uh, the sheep of of his father <clears throat> now how it relates now when david was doing that job he was doing very diligently he was obeying god he was worshiping god he was praising god okay and he was so much enjoying the word uh, the, the work that he, it was assigned the responsibility that given to to him i don't know where whether he had complained about it that i am not in a good situation but i don't find it in bible i, I didn't find so so maybe uh, somewhere if it is written i don't know but i haven't come across that 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 verse so he was enjoying now how it relates to us when he was enjoying and when he was fighting and 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 helping to rescue the 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 sheep from the 
wild animals, you know, that time he was being prepared. So how it relates to us? Now today with the situations you are in, my friend, my brothers and sister, elders, whatever the situation you are in, wherever you are in, you feel that this is the not, not right place for me. I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. I shouldn't be here. Now what I'm saying, hang in there. Pray to God. You are being prepared today. As David was prepared, getting prepared, being equipped to become a king that day, in the woods, in the jungle, God was training him. Today, through your situation, through the, the, the trouble and turmoil you are going through, and you are in today, God is preparing you, training you, teaching you, equipping you to become a best fighter, a good fighter. Because you are not where you are belong today. You all belong. God will take you to the place where you belong to. He has planned for you. So in this, in this first thing we learn that we have to believe in God and we have to do what we are doing, what we have today. We have to keep doing it and we pray to God and God will help us. And because I'm telling you today, you are chosen, you are selected and you are not ready yet. God, if you are ready, God will take you to the next level of your life. So first we learn that Let's do it diligently, faithfully, what we have, we are assigned with or what the responsibility was given to us. God has a plan for us to take us further. Next, negativity. If we go from chapter 33 onwards, we see that Saul is telling when, when David came and told um, and to, to the people that what will be given to the person who is, who is going to fight the battle and, and, and kill that person. Then people overheard and, and they took him to the stall. And Saul, when, when saw him, he, he was telling negative about him. He was, he was just, the word he says that I just want to read over here uh, for of all of us. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against, against the Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man in, and he has been a warrior from, the, from his youth. He is a very experienced person. He is a big one. He is a giant one. He's a, strong he's muscular he is he is is so so good fighter you cannot go to him you know what david is getting this kind of word of discouragement from his own king the people whom god is taking care of sometimes in our life we also get this kind of negative word discouragement a word of demoralization from our own people from our own close people whom we expect that we can get some more of encouragement instead we find in returns more of discouragement maybe negativity around us all of us has gone through this and all of us is going through this maybe in a different different situation and this is what i'm saying so in jesus name if this kind of negativity is coming to you everyone go through this review that in Jesus, do not accept it as David did not accept that negativity what Saul has told him. The environment that Saul tried to create. And David replied in verse 34, But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father sheep. When the lion and bears came from and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it and struck it and rescued the sheep. From this its mouth and while doing this fight my God was helping me protecting me from the paws of the bear and and the, and the lion now you when you face the situation this negative word of uh, from the people maybe it's your enemy your friends your close by or or anyone who all will discourage you I'm telling you anyone can be anyone you can take anyone tell in Jesus' name, you rebuke in your mind. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. It is my Lord who has helped, has been, who has been helping me in the situation. Who was worse than this, and He was protecting me, and He will protect me, and He will definitely give me the success. When people say you cannot do that, you don't deserve it. You don't have the talent. You don't have that, that stamina. You don't have the wisdom. You don't have the idea. You cannot. You don't know. You don't have experience. You don't have to bother. 
you lean on to God and pray. I will get the victory and my Lord teach me everything. As the word of God says, the Holy Spirit will come and teach you everything. And the Holy Spirit will teach us. Next point, we'll go that first we learn con whatever you're doing, keep doing, God will take you further in next level of your life than what you are, we are learning that reject and rebuke the negativity around you and third do not try to wear the shoes of others whenever we see okay when when david is now now saul is con convinced when david explaining about his how god has protected him protected him in the jungle in his life and he convinced and he asks okay you can go to the battlefield but you have to wear this wear or you have to put on these armors and when he was trying to put on that armor, he was feeling uncomfortable because he was, not, he was not used to it. So this is what I'm saying today. In Jesus' name, uh, that when David was believing in Jesus' name, was telling, I can beat him without this. So my king, I am feeling a little uncomfortable because when I'm wearing it, I'm not able to walk properly. I'll go with my weapons like that. When we see others, maybe they are wealthy. Maybe they are stronger. Maybe they are more talented. Maybe they have passed out from other a very recognized and esteemed education and established uh, institutions. And when we see that, we if I would have been there, if I would have that things, if I would have been passed out from a good university, if my parents would have been financially strong, I would have been uh, given a better chance to do something. I, I, if I would have not... I received that offer I could have been somewhere else why I'm stuck here my life is not better it's not going to be better don't try to wait because what they are and they have they're used to they're practicing it they're having that blessing and they know how to use that but you may not be able to because you have a different things given by God so use what you have content you have satisfy with have and keep believing in god and pray to god god if you i'm not feeling comfortable in this place i think this is not the right place for me lead me and establish and accomplish your plans upon my life and my friend in that small weapons of life whatever even the small things you are containing today god will give you a better victory a miraculous victory like god gave david just with a sling and stone and the stick and David went without the weapon. He just went casually because he was fearless, because he was having confidence in Jesus' name that I can beat this fellow. And he went and he slung it and the stone went and hit his forehead and he fell down. And David ran to him, took out the sword and cut his hair and he killed him. You know what? Today, whatever you're continuing, my friend, believe in that. God will make you understand and give you the wisdom to use your weapon and he will bring you a best victory of your life. And the day God David got victory, my friend, he became famous. But I'm saying the day he got victory, he was not chosen that day he, he, that he is king. He was chosen before people could know that he is going to be king because the Lord has already sent Lord had already sent Samuel to anoint him. Today, you and me all, we are anointed by the Holy Spirit of God that we are selected, we are chosen for a better person to sign in the name of Jesus and the world for his glory, for his kingdom. And finally, in the verse 50, when we see David got triumph over him and he got the victory, and victory is yours and mine. Do not, do not fear, for I am with you. God is saying, and when God is with us, who can against us? And First John verse four and four says that the one who is working within you is great. The one is we who, the one who is in you within you is greater than one who is in the world. One he, who is within us means the Lord is with he who is within us. The power of the Holy Spirit, the grace of the Holy Father with with us, and. He is mightier and powerful than our Lord is powerful than the spirit of discouragement, the spirit of um, darkness, the evil things, the negativity of the world. And God has taken the victory and God has taken control of all the battles we are going to fight and we have already the victory as David had the victory. So how 
in this through this chapter 17 we learn that victory is yours and mine my friend god has decided all this only we have to lean on to god and in jesus name i pray and pronounce victory in your life prosperity cha- success cherish and love in your life peace of mind in your life and victory once again i pronounce in the name of jesus victory will be yours in jesus name god bless you amen